Well done, Varsity Baseball, and congratulations, Osbetter, for the no-hitter. Yeah, good job, guys. You know, Tyler, I'm kind of wondering what's going on with the track team. I think Emily Meister covered the story. We now go to Emily Meister with the story on track team. Hi, I'm Emily Meister, and I'm here reporting for CNN at your Spanish Rings track field for the annual Duel in the Desert meet. Let's go check it out. Well, so far this season, I, I got the like a school record for the 110 hurdles. I got the school record for the 300 hurdles. Um, I'm hoping I can win state in at least one of the hurdle really, or one of the hurdle events this year. I also went to the Big George track meet in Minden this past weekend. Your Cougars did great, and here is Solven being a powerhouse in the hurdles as always. So far we started off pretty good. We had some good uh, times in the first uh, conference meet and we're hoping today to uh, be able to take this championship and keep it at Spanish Springs. I have uh, very high hopes for this team this week. Justice Moore has also been a key athlete on our track team this year, dominating the 100-yard dash in almost every track meet. Well, I like to do track because it gets me in shape, it gets me ready for the sports. I like doing track because it's competitive and it gets me ready for the sports like you said. We'll go to state for the four box. Now, from that little Our girls track team has also been doing good this year, with runners like Ari James and Laura Voss winning races left and right. And the pole vaulting captain. And what are your goals this year? I want to get 14 feet because I like going high and I'm the man. <laughs> Our first meet, we took second in a 14 meet and uh, this week we've shown a lot more improvement as well, so it's, it's been a really uh, great experience for all of us. Throwing is the best. Throwing is so fun. Like a Greek god. <laughs> I like to do track because it's fun and it keeps me in shape. Alright, and what do you hope to accomplish this season? Uh, this season I would like to go to state with my relay teams, the 4x1 and the 4x2. Team, you're doing a great job. Well, that's our show for this week, Cougars. I'm Tyler McHugh. And I'm Amanda O'Farrell. Have a great weekend. We have one more story for you. One of our very own students won the Miss Reno Sparks beauty pageant. We now go to Sabrina Jay with the story. Miss Reno Sparks 2010. I'm a 12th grader. I'm a senior this year. Each contestant must have a platform and a talent. I belly danced. I've always wanted to try it out, and I just thought this was a cool opportunity to just go for it. A platform is how they help out with their community. Okay, so I, I help raise money and food and clothing for the homeless just to get more people off the street and help them get on their feet again. It was so much fun. It was my first time performing in a big crowd 
and I've only belly danced for three months, so it was a pretty cool experience. Oh, I got the crown, the sash, and the scholarship for college. How much was the scholarship? A thousand dollars. Now that Litia has won Miss Reno Sparks, she shall now go on to try for Miss Nevada. So I go up to Miss Ski on July 3rd, and we, I compete for Miss Nevada. Downtown Reno. Held on a Sunday afternoon, Sunday, March 14th at 2 p.m. Who was in the pageant um, from Spanish Springs High School? There was Litzia Martinez, Andrea Rodarte, and um, Riley Jens. Actually, she was requesting a transcript for the pageant. And when I heard her mention that, I said, oh, cool, that sounds fun. Like, you know, give me a ticket or let me know when it's happening and I'll come support you. And so she let me know and I bought her ticket and so I went and supported her. There be flight!